This little video I am making as a tribute to my wife, a very awesome woman that I would like to introduce to you. May God bless you as you listen to this special little story. Her mommy received a gift one day. As I understand it, it was a little glass bowl with a rose in it. And it said, the Rose of Sharon. She had a hope from that day on to have a daughter that would be like the Rose of Sharon. And when her daughter was born, she called her Rose Sharon. And this daughter was treated just like the Rose of Sharon. It made her the sweetest and most special person in my life. And everybody that meets her thinks the same. She is so sweet, so graceful, so merciful. I pray that God will always bless you for the way you live. I think this is such a powerful testimony of what something can turn out to be when you aim at and have a vision for your children. I hope that you would be inspired to do the same for your children, to have a vision for them and to live it out and to treat them according to that vision so that they may grow and become like the Lord. foundation of your home is the Word of God. Keep it always at the center of your lives. This book is the mind of God. Read it to be wise. Believe it to be safe. Practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, Pilots compass, the soldier's sword, and the Christian's character. Christ is its grand subject, our good is design, and the glory of God is in. It should fill the memory, rule the heart, and guide the feet. Read it slowly, frequently, prayerfully. Follow his precepts and it will lead you to Calvary, to the empty tomb, to a resurrected life in Christ, yes, to the glory of God.